do you want to start making your games in the mobile phone? Yes, in your mobile phone. Thanks to Bujo Engine, you can actually do this. Just think of the possibilities. You may be in the beach, you may be in a friend's house, and you can code and program a game from there. Do you think it will be worth it? I don't know. I have ever, ever, never a code in a mobile phone, and I'm going to try it in the first time. So I'm going to be showing you how to download Gudo for Android and how to set up it properly to start making your project. Let's start. The first thing you have to do is to enter the Godot official website. So uh, let's enter. Once you're here, you're going to click in this top right button and then you're going to click where it says download. You are going to click where it says Android. Then you are going to scroll down until where it says standard version, universal and well, other things. You are going to click in this uh, blue button. So now the only thing we have to do is to wait until this download is fully completed. Once the download is finished, you are going to click in the notification let's click on install and now yes you have good job you can program your games and i'm just going to create a new empty project by clicking here new project uh, i will put it like a tutorial in the name for example you can put anything you want in here well this is simply incredible we have here a good job in our uh, phone so to just test that everything uh, should be working just fine uh, i'm going to create a 2d sim uh, i'm going to rename this node to something like a tutorial again and uh, to this node i'm going to attach a new script uh, i want to name it as well yes and yes, we can code from here. Obviously, uh, it's really kind of complicated because you're not using a keyboard or something. And yes, it's uh, nearly impossible to code anything here. But yes, you can code, what is uh, amazing. And I'm going to try to just make a hello world or, or something like that. But as you can see, it's uh, really difficult. Okay, now that I maximize the script, uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's easier. Uh, I will uh, delete all the comments uh, that Gujo has created. So here in the ready, remember that the ready function is called uh, when the game launches. Uh, I'm just going to write here print. I'm going to open and uh, it has a, an auto complete auto complete. Uh, like as the PC and I'm going to write here for example a uh, hello world okay now uh, I want to yes uh, I want to play now and it says no main scene uh, has ever been defined select one you can change it later in project sets it's under the application category well let, let's uh, select the current scene uh, I don't know why this is not ah uh, we haven't uh, saved this scene so let's save it scene uh, save scene and i'm going to save it like that i don't want anything special uh, i think this uh, oh it crashed it it charged it loaded and uh, oh we don't have anything uh, i will just try to uh, write the things we used to have and to run the scene and see what happens now i think the scene uh, was saved so i'm going to press play uh, select a uh, current scene and please please okay the game runs uh, but uh, here is ah <laughs> i tried to to quit the scene but i didn't uh, see the hello world message maybe you could try uh, this asset library projects uh, here are a lot of a lot of uh, 
projects as you can see but to program a project it's really difficult and um, if you have a no keyboard and you're making this in a cell phone it's uh, literally really difficult to make it you can yes of course you can but it's really difficult that is uh, so difficult to code a project in Godot in mobile phone obviously the pc uh, Godot is incredible you can make a lot of things it's really easy to use it is really easy to understand but obviously in a phone it turns all, all things too complicated the screen isn't big enough you uh, the keyboard is a uh, big for uh, the phone and you can see nothing to sum up everything is a mess and it's really complicated to create your own games in your phone Although it's really complicated, I think you could try to if you are starting and don't have a PC. Well, maybe it's a good option to try Godot in your mobile phone. But at least try to use a tablet or something like that. I hope you liked the video. If so, please subscribe and like the video. Bye bye.